What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to my first ever or only ever, I don't know, uh, Champions League player pick pack. I am here on my Road to Glory first owner account. If you guys don't know, I have a Road to Glory, it's on my second channel, link is down below. Uh, the first episode will be uploaded on the 25th. Um, and I was just playing on the Road to Glory and I randomly got the UEFA Champions League Gold Player Pick Pack. Uh, this is obviously the pre-order bonus. For some reason, it got issued to some people before it got issued to others. And I was one of those fortunate ones that had it issued to me. So we're going to open this here today. And then I'm going to have 20 more two-player packs. If you enjoy the content, drop a thumbs up, leave a sub on the channel. And if you want to see more, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. So here we go. Straight off the bat, no messing around, no wasting time. Straight into our UEFA Champions League goal player pick pack. It includes a player pick with a selection of five untradeable gold players from the UEFA Champions League group stage, of which you can choose one. Now, I was under the impression that this is 80 to 83 rated, but it doesn't say that anywhere that this is 80 to 83 rated. And it doesn't say here that it's 80 to 83 rated either, but let's see if it is 80 to 83 rated. I don't know why it's showing me this side first, but we get Garay, Rose, Muslera, Jovetic, and... Mascarel. So this is definitely 80 to 83 rated cards. Now, obviously, Muslera I would never, ever use. Gadai I would never, ever use. Not with 36 pace, man. Jovetic isn't too bad. Four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Nice. It's, it's a well-rounded card, this one. A little low on stamina, though. His ball control and dribbling are nice. His curve is good. His shooting is good. That's not the worst card in the world. Um, Mascarel is not really that very good. And then Danny Rose is probably probably the best guy to pick out of all of this bunch here, guys, just for the simple fact that he's a Premier League Spurs player. So for Lucas's player of the month, I could pick Danny Rose and use him in Lucas' player of the month and help myself, you know, potentially get a, uh, a little bit off of the player of the month. So that is who we're going to pick, guys. Danny Rose right there. Boom. He is, of course, untradeable. Um, but I tell you something, guys, that card type looks phenomenal. I think EA have done a very good job on a lot of the card types this year. I don't think the golds and the common cards look very good, but the special cards look amazing. And I actually like the blue shine that we're getting over the top of it. It looks pretty legit. So we're going to send that into the club, guys, and we are now going to move on to 22 player packs. I will be right back. So guys, back onto the Xbox for our 22 rare gold players packs. Of course, I did upload a rare gold player pack video already earlier on today. We opened 25. We've got some pretty cool players. Uh, no boards, no problem. Um, so uh, yeah, here we go again. 20 more to go. And don't forget, guys, to show me... Now you can compare price on these. Somebody, somebody gave me a really easy way to get rid of these. 2K for Antonio. I kind of want to trade him. Can I swap him no i'm gonna be right back all right i figured it out uh well one of you guys in the comment section told me so thank you for that um but yeah two player packs are here uh of course we can get icons in these two player packs we got some cool players in the last episode we got quincy promise uh extinct card and we got edison we got a few others that i should have probably kept a hold of but i tell you something guys there, there's a, there's one problem that i have with this whole pack system and that's that uh when you press left trigger down to quick sell now you, there's no, like, if you accidentally press left trigger, which is really easy to do, you have to manually put every single thing back up, and that's quite frustrating. I would rather be able to have an, an option to just move everything back to keep items. Other than that, the sorting system for the packs, when I first saw it, I, I was like, this isn't going to work. This is just confusing as hell, but it's actually incredible. It works really, really well, so kudos to EA for that. But anyway, in terms of the game... Um, if you guys have got your Champions League player pick packs, tweet me. There are some really cool 80 to 83 rated players that are available. Uh, of course, my one was all right. Danny Rose there. Not amazing in the grand scheme of things, but definitely okay for my pack only Road to Glory or first owner Road to Glory. Once again, if you do enjoy the Road to Glories, link to my second channel is down below. And we are once again going into our fourth year now as we get some boards there. German goalkeeper. It's going to be t uh, it's going to be Horn. Uh, so obviously Bundesliga two these days. I do have him in the club. So for those of you that don't know, this is how you do the glitch. You click A. You swap. Oh, it just worked. 
All right, so when you get it like this, you swap it anyway, it boots you out, you go back in, you have some items to deal with, and it's actually swapped it. So now this is, Gaeta is the tradable version. So I can send them both up to the transfer list and carry on. So that's how it works. Thank you guys for educating me in that. Of course, I didn't know. Um, and obviously, guys, if you guys are running the two-player pack method right now, tweet me your best two-player packs. I will retweet and favorite the best ones that I see. If we don't get a board player, I'm going to skip. I just want to get through these, you know, see what we can get. We get Troy Deeney and Caicedo there. I should really... I should really, I should really just trade them, shouldn't I? Swap that. Just to get the coins, you know, what's the point of discarding cards that I don't care about when instead I can discard that I do care about? Although, is it like, this has taken me probably an extra 20, 30, maybe 40 seconds just to get 1,200 coins. Is that actually worth it? I don't know. And it, it would be an absolute ball ache to edit that out of the video constantly. Here we go with the next pack. Can we get another boardy? I tell you what, I'll just do it with good players. I'm not going to do it with like trash bag players. It's going to probably be meaner there, the fact that it was the uh, the Colombian. So, it, oh wow, it wasn't. It was Balanta and ha Hanin. Not packed Hanin at this stage. Balanta can get discarded. And we go into the next one. I never thought... I would be so engaged with two-player packs this early in the game cycle. I remember last time around as we do get some boards. Dutch, striker. Oh, it's Dubai. Let's go. Huge card. Come on. That's what I like to see. EA. I haven't got him yet and I understand he is too extinct. So we got Promes last time. We got Dubai, Dubai this time. He is extinct. I don't even know what his price range is. These two player packs are legit, dudes. Let me tell you. So Memphis Depay is currently at max price of 20k. That is amazing, guys. That is absolutely fantastic. We now get to send him into the club. Three star, five star. Great stats. Like Depay is going to get a lot of informs this year. And he is going to be a beast in this game long term. Him and Promes up front together. Left mid, obviously, and striker. Leads into linking some good teams. It's going to be really, really good to have them. We get ourselves another board. Italian goalkeeper. It's going to be Viviano. Now, I do already have him in the club. So, we'll just... Uh, I will I will use the, the swap thing to pop Viviano up onto the trade pile. But I'm going to discard the other one. Nice and easy. I hope EA fix that because that is quite frustrating. You know, it's a little bit, little bit tricky to uh, have to deal with. And I wonder why... The other card, that I, what was it, Horn that I did it with? I didn't require the the thing. It just worked first time. Here we go with another pack. So we've got back-to-back -back balls. Did we get three in a row? No, we do not. It's Spanish, though. I don't know what 82s and lower there are that are going to be amazing. Maybe like Delafo or something like that. We get Suso and Sacco. Suso selling for not enough for me to care about. Sacco selling for... Not really, an, uh, like 1,500 each. I know for a lot of people, that's a lot of coins. And hey, if this was my road to glory, I would take care of those cards. I would make sure that I got my, my value out of them. Yes, we have a board. Come on, be an icon. It's not an icon. It's just a regular board, but it's a board. German, center mid. R it's Tony Kroos. Let's go. Huge, Paul. This is a good card this year as well. Oh, he's an old man. He's got a bad back, lads. We're going to get ourselves Tony Kroos. In an untradeable two-player pack. GG's. He's currently worth 60,000 coins. And will undoubtedly go up in value. As the full game comes out. That is phenomenal. Look at this. I mean, this is a very good card. He's a little light on pace. But he's been, had a massive pace boost. His shooting is great. Especially those long shots. And we know this year, the time finesse shots from the top of the box are broken. His passing is immaculate. Ball control and reactions, his composure, fantastic. His tackling and interceptions are good. His strength and stamina, nice. That's a good card. That is a very good card. That is fantastic, guys. Depay and Cruz this time around. Edison and um, Promes in the last pack opening. I'm just happy that we got a walkout board. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it at all. I'm happy that we got one. That is fantastic news. Uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying these walkout boards. Ooh, we get. Ooh, what is this guy worth? Yeah, less than 2k. I'm, I'm happy with that. Stindle there is a good card as well. I remember him from last year. I mean, he's got really good stats. As a star player, if you guys are looking for a cheap guy who will sit in your team and do a great job, look at Stindle. He's going to be super cheap. 
a, like literally under a thousand coins and he has got a good card. Uh, absolutely worth picking up for a, uh, a Bundesliga team. Nine more packs to go, guys. Can we get any more luck in these packs? I wouldn't even mind if we didn't, but it would be great if we did. We get boards. Come on. Spanish goalkeeper. AC Milan is Pepe Reina. I do already have Pepe Reina in the club, so we're just going to swap him around. Uh, we also get Rudy in there as well. How much is Rudy selling for? Next to nothing. So we'll discard Rudy. Um, we're going to swap Pepe Reina around. Although I might already have an untradeable Pepe Reina. No, I haven't. Sweet. So we'll send him up to the trade pole. We'll send Rudy down and discard him and move on to the next one. Eight more to go, guys. It has been a success so far out of the first 12. Can we get another couple of boards? I would love to get an inform. Even if it is one of the bad informs, I would just love to get one of the informs. Uh, we get another player. There. I think that's the, uh, well, I don't know. It could be could be one of a million players. Abubakar, has he got a good card this year? Five-star skill moves, only a three-star weak foot. It's not, it's, that's quite a well-rounded card. His physicals are really nice. He's got great composure. You, if you put the right chem style on him, he could be an absolute machine, to be fair. Not necessarily ideal uh, for kind of like mid-game teams or anything like that, but definitely for a starter team, you could get away with using him uh, easily in, in one of your first teams, especially in like a squad battles team. Next pack, we get no boards there. Another German coming into us. Andre Schurler would be nice to pick up. I know he's not a boards player. It's going to be Bender and Rebic. Rebic, another one with a good card. He was actually in my starter team. If you remember back uh, about a week or so ago, we did a, start, a cheap OP starter team and Rebic was in it. Uh, next pack, do we get boards? Not this time. We get a Belgian on the cards on this occasion. I don't know who the good Belgian is. Witzel maybe? Batshawi and Raul Garcia. We're going to discard both of those. Both 81 rated though, so it's not too bad. You know, It's not like we're getting like the 76s and 77 uh, shiny gold cards. Next pack, nothing in this one either. Can we get any luck with the boards though? No boards. Once again, it's a Brazilian left back. It's not going to be Tellez or obviously, uh, you know, Sandro or Marcelo. It's going to be Dal Burt, who is currently selling for 3.4k. So he is one that we are going to trade around just because he's worth so many coins. Um, and then we'll take a look at Musa as well. Dal Burt, I don't believe is uh, untradeable. No, so we're, I'm actually going to uh, list him up and take some coins for him. Very nice. And then Musa, how much are we selling for? Under a thousand coins. We're going to discard him. Not interested. And move on to the final. I think four packs. Is that what we've got left? Four more packs, guys. If we could get another walkout board or a special card, I would be blown away. We can't out of pack, well, pack 16, ultimately 17. Uh, we get a board, well, no board, should I say. German centre mid. Not going to be Goretzka. Probably going to be Rudy again. Oh, it's Arnold this time. Even worse. Three more packs to go, guys. How is our luck going to be in these final three? Can we achieve another walkout? I'm already happy. I don't even care if we get nothing out of these packs. We do get a board player. It's Brazilian. It's goalkeeper. It's Liverpool. It's going to be Alisson. So we've got Edison last time around. And we get Alisson this time around. That is very nice. Uh, I have him in the club already. But he's worth a fair old chunk. 20,000 coins that we can now take. Um, and get ourselves another 20k on the board. I'm really happy with that. I'm actually going to hold on to Allison as well. We're going to send him up to the trade pile and just keep him there for the time being. So this has been another successful event. Tony Kroos, uh, Memphis Depay, a uh, you know a few others worth like three or four k, and Allison worth 20k as well. Our penultimate pack has no walkout board and no board. It's going to be a Spaniard. Hector Bellerin would be nice. If it could be uh, someone like that, it's going to be Morales and Defrel. So not exactly interesting to us. And then the final pack, guys, to end off this video, how do we fare in pack 20? It's not a walkout board. Are we going to get at least a board? Yes, we are. We end off with a board. Happy days. Spanish goalkeeper. It's going to be a Senjo. I think that's the first time I've ever packed him. And I tell you something, I don't know how much he goes for, but his card looks good with how the chem boosts work. To the point where he could be very, very useful. He's like a 2.2k player. As an 84 rated, I am going to keep hold of him and send the other one of, uh, you know, the tradable one, obviously, up to uh, the trade pile. I'm going to get rid of Jarstein. Not overly interested in him. Um, but that, guys, is going to signal the end of the video. If you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.